Princess Mercedes, where have you been? You're quite persistent, aren't you, old man? Wait, Mercedes. Mother. Wherever are you off to? With my precious bow. Frog hunting. Yes, I see. Tis necessary to exterminate those pests that eat the little fairies. But you should leave that task to the soldiers, dear. I just want to improve my skills with the bow, so I can join you on the battlefield. Mercedes, I cannot take you along when we battle the Demon Lord. No! Why not? Mercedes, you are young. You need to learn this. You mustn't be eager to go to war without even knowing why we are fighting. So, why are we fighting? We born from the forest cannot live without Phozons, our source of life. Melvin! Phozons are magic elements generated by nature. They are rare outside the forest. Since we have collected them from around the world, we are gifted with prosperity. The Demon Lord has declared war on us so that he may obtain our treasure. Is that what he wants? Our greatest treasure, the Cauldron, will give him enormous power. So, that's why he's attacking? <laughs> Mercedes. I shall entrust you with my precious bow. It will be your responsibility to protect the country while I am away. Yes, Mother. I understand. So, I'll be off hunting now. Oh dear, I wonder if that child understood anything I told her. Tis a problem. She has no idea of her position and what is expected of her. Melvin, you are her cousin. She treats you as a brother. Please help her become a good queen. As you wish. I shall make it my duty to assist Princess Mercedes in any way possible. Your Majesty, the Demon Lord has launched an assault. Our soldiers have been pushed back, and some have deserted from the front line. Our Guardian Dragon is having trouble dealing with Odin's Witch. We have no choice but to retreat. Your Majesty, please issue the command. The Demon Lord is invading! Uh. What an enormous cipher! It's been a while, Alfaria. Last time you were unusually shrewd and managed to steal the cauldron away from me. Demon Lord Odin. You are beautiful as ever. And yet I regret that I will have to break your perfect neck like stepping on a lily. I will not give you the cauldron. You will have to take it by force. Yet I cannot allow you to continue your violent and petty ways unpunished. Say what you will. Your attempts at deception have no effect on me. Observe this blue orb. 
Behold the might of the wicked eye, Baylor. Queen, accept defeat. With this, I will become absolute ruler of the world. Go, mourn the death of the fairy race. Princess, please compose yourself. Mother! Shh. Now listen carefully to what I have to tell you. It is very important. Mercedes. You must not look down. Raise your head high and survey the path ahead. You are the next fairy queen. Ringford will soon be in danger. If the magical kettle, the cauldron, if it draws in all the bosons, our forest and our people cannot live. The land needs a leader. You will need to revive the country and get the cauldron back from the Demon Lord. If you respect my words, you will need to choose the path of royalty over revenge. Be a queen. Tis difficult to place such a burden on one so young. But I know you can do it. Mother believes in you. It is my time to go, Mercedes. Oh, dearest Earth, take me. I go back to whence I came. And to the beloved heavens, I will give you my name. I am Elfaria. My true name is Fimble Vetter. This awful winter shall disappear with me. Princess Mercedes, we have so many injured that we have run out of sick beds and medicine. What shall we do? Well, um, uh, uh, uh. Let us open the Southern Imperial Villa and house the wounded there. I shall notify our mages to increase healing potion production. Princess Mercedes, I hope this is adequate. Uh, oh, yes. So you must be Melvin's Shadow Knight. 
Pardon me. I'm not feeling well. Knowing that the Demon Lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? Her cousin Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take her place. Your Majesty, I'm extremely unhappy. In the past, the former queen battled with the dwarves for the cauldron. When we were defeated, we left our forges and became Lilipats. But the dwarves who escaped the fairies joined forces with the Demon Lord and made more weapons to hurt us. Well, well. Just let me know if there's anything you need. Your Majesty, I swear by my horn. I will fight to the end for Queen Elfaria. Thank you. It has not been long since you lost your mother. Perhaps you need a vacation. But Melvin, I'm... Allow me to handle the governmental affairs. The people will be fine. Are you suggesting that the Queen is a burden? Absolutely not. Melvin, the Chief Armorer would like to discuss something with you. I'll see him immediately. Excuse me, I must be on my way. So he's controlling the armed forces as he wishes. Just as Mother said, I cannot do anything. Queen Mercedes, please control yourself. There's something strange in the air here. Melvin is acting highly suspiciously. His heart burns with ambition, and he seems to be making some kind of plan. He's not showing anything on the surface, but we can't let this continue. Let us speak with the sorcerer who served Queen Elfaria. The famous sorcerer Beldor, who enslaves a dragon and sees the netherworld. Tis better to have a dependable expert on our side. I doubt he will cause a rebellion within the land, but who can say? If the country collapses after Queen Alfaria's death, the Demon Lord truly wins. I have heard that Beldor has retreated to a place in the forest. If Queen Mercedes should visit him in the forest, he should be honored to help. Does Beldor really live here? Ah! Oh no! What should I do? Uh, what's going on here? You stupid frog! I dropped my mother's bow! Now how is that my fault? This pond is full of frogs. Oh no! I can't find it! The pond is deep in places. I could dive and look for it. Hmm. But if I help you, what can you do for me in return? Well, I... I won't shoot any more frogs. I'm wasting my time here. Hey, wait! I know! I will grant just one wish for you. Will you please find my bow? Okay. It's a deal. What a greedy little frog. He probably has some stupid, pointless wish anyway. Princess Mercedes, what are you doing in this swamp? Perfect timing. I have been looking for you, my loyal sorcerer, Beldor. I have a request for you. I would like to ask for your assistance. I have a dilemma. I am currently a faithful servant to King Melvin. Melvin is not king. Make no mistake, I am queen. No, he shall be the new king very soon. Now come, Belial. Swallow this little queen and make her disappear. 
Is this what you lost? Hey! <laughs> Little help? I cannot let you return. Please prepare yourself. Ah! What the? He... he's poisoned me. This will have to wait. Ran off, hey? Uh, is that a cipher? You're awful. My skills are ruined. D do you want to continue? I do not. Lower your weapon. I must obey that sorcerer's commands. If only he were gone, I would be able to enjoy a moment of freedom. I'm sorry. I didn't know, and I... Are you showing compassion to a creature that threatened you? Kind-hearted young queen, listen to my warnings. The flames of rebellion are in the flower garden. A mutiny has begun. It must be Melvin. You must act now, otherwise you cannot turn back. Hey, wait! What about your promise? I do. Queen Mercedes, I'm glad we could meet. I had no idea that Melvin had already convinced the sorcerer to join him. Your Majesty, this is serious. Melvin has seized political power, and the palace is in disarray. Everyone fears his Shadow Knight, and some have fled. Please rest assured, everyone here is loyal to you, Your Majesty. What can I do with so few people, though? This revolt was a deliberate uprising. Melvin's too shrewd. He must have been planning this back when Queen Elfaria was still alive. Please stay hopeful, Queen Mercedes. We have captured some of the dissidents, but others have fled. I am certain that others will join our forces. I've never seen so many fairies all together. It's like a dream! Half the nobles of Ringford support Melvin, and the other half is undecided. Melvin has occupied the palace and is sending troops to capture the Queen. Though we are few, we are soldiers, who are loyal to Queen Alfaria's daughter. It seems that some have locked themselves into a wing of the palace to fight. Can anyone do anything? Please, do something! You are so spoiled. You always assume that somebody will come along to take care of things for you. This will be difficult. If you want to be queen, you must take the lead, or no one will follow. Frog, you're... <sighs> you're exactly right. I will return to the palace. Those who will fight alongside me, come on! News, Queen Mercedes. The noblemen to the south have joined our cause. They are heading towards the palace as we speak. 
I'm glad you're safe, Your Majesty. I've been hiding since I escaped from the palace. Please buy whatever you'd like. I'll give you a discount. Queen Mercedes, please beware the Belder River Handler. If he cloaks himself in darkness, there is no stopping him. If this happens, please do your best to get away. Quite the spectacle. You are totally surrounded. Tis only a matter of time until your small number of allies have been repelled. Give it up. You are no leader. Once I become the king, and if you choose to obey me, I shall allow you to live as I am a man indebted to the former queen. I refuse. Then I have no choice. Lord Melvin! What is it? It... it's a frog. I don't understand it. That disgusting creature appeared in the palace and the troops are disoriented. Oh, I can't rely on you for anything. Tis useless to try to figure out what I have done. That jeweled bow that you hold is extremely powerful. But be warned, you are not the only one who wields a cipher. Oswald? Why not test the Belderiver? On the Queen herself. Your Majesty, the rebellion has been suppressed. Where is Melvin? He fought to the end, and he has returned to the heavens. Someone reported seeing his Shadow Knight being taken by a Holia. I see. Hey! <sighs> Don't kill the frogs here. They are really fairy soldiers. This medicine will return them to normal. Did you change Melvin's soldiers into frogs? Yes, I slipped a little transformation potion into their drinks. Well, now that your reinforcements have arrived, it's time for your promise. As you see, I am a frog now, but I was originally human. However, it seems my curse is slightly different. I've tried already, but that potion won't cure me. As far as I know, a kiss from a powerful fairy is able to break a spell of this type. You are fairy royalty, so I assume you are powerful. What? So, that's my wish. <laughs> what? Uh, I can't. I can't put my lips on a slimy, poisonous frog. Can the Queen of the Fairies go back on her word? I, I need to prepare myself. Just give me some time. Your Majesty, the remaining rebels have been arrested. The soldiers who were merely following orders should be pardoned. As for the lords who commanded them, if they swear fealty to Your Majesty, shouldn't we mitigate their punishment? Yes, I agree. Oh, are you ready now? No, not yet. What a tease. Your Majesty, you used to love going frog hunting, but now you travel everywhere with a frog. Yes, it's a real pain. Um, it's hard to explain. Huh? 
to celebrate the Queen's victory, I'll let you visit the Puka village. Just you and me. How about it? Queen Mercedes, rest assured, the chaos in the kingdom is subsiding. Uh, hey. All I need is a quick peck. Just close your eyes. <sighs> okay. I suppose you're right. Your Majesty, please hurry! What's happening? Tis a dragon! We're being attacked! Is it Belial? Baldor's servant! No! A dragon we have never seen! Please flee the palace! It is already nearby! Your Majesty, please escape! Now! You can shower me with a raging storm of arrows! But I shall not lose a single shining scale! A brat like you? A queen? <laughs> what a joke! Uh, I am the queen. Then remember this, little girl. Remember the sins your land has committed. That is why I am here today. Your sword slayed Hindel, the only dragon who felt for your race. His death will now be yours. Bring this Shadow Knight before me. Let me show him the natural outcome of what happens when lesser races oppose dragons. Hindel? What does he mean? In order for the Queen to recognize the power of the Belder River, Melvin had his swordsman slay the wise dragon Hindel. How awful! The Shadow Knight is gone. He and his commander have been killed. The fairies are famed liars. Why would I believe you? Tell me who killed the swordsman who was strong enough to slay a dragon. If he is not present, then I shall give you time. Bring him to me. My name is Wagner, and I live atop Horn Mountain. If you fail to visit me soon, I shall make my way here once again. If that should happen, I will set your forest ablaze with my flames! So what do we do? The Shadow Knight is gone. Mm. Mm? A queen must help her land. I shall go to the mountain and explain again. Your Majesty! Hmm. Wagner! You have come. I've been waiting for you. Where is the Shadow Knight? I told you. He is gone. I defeated him. <laughs> you? Trembling before me? You can barely stand upright in this cold weather. Do you not see the cipher in my hands? It was passed down from my mother. I speak the truth. You have nerve, child. To show me the very weapon that killed my friend. You may not be able to scratch a single scale, but you have earned my wrath. You claim to have defeated the Shadow Knight. Very well, let me test you. Please 
Please don't get angry. Please calm down, Wagner. The Shadow Knight is in the Netherworld. He would never harm dragons. That is a fine thing for you to say. You, who treat brilliant and noble dragons like dogs. Um, that dragon. An impudent, stupid girl like you will never serve as queen. But your weapon is indeed powerful. I can believe you killed the Shadow Knight. I can say with confidence, the Cyphers are truly a threat to us. We cannot ignore the threat. Do not think it's over. I promise not to use this bow for evil. Well then, what will you use it for? To defeat the Demon Lord. Very well. You foolish jewel handlers should destroy one another. It's impossible. Huh? Rock? Your cipher is no match against the Demon Lord's Baylor. <sighs> Frogs aren't built for cold places like this. But I'm glad you're safe. You followed me here? Froggy? A way to win against the Demon Lord's Baylor? Hmm. The exceptional blacksmith Brom, who made your bow, and the Belder Reaver. He might be able to forge an even more powerful weapon. But Melvin sent him to the Netherworld while he was still alive. If he is alive, can we bring him back from the Netherworld? A horrible idea. That world is so terrifying that not even Beldor would willingly go there. And Beldor is missing. Bringing Brom back is an impossible feat. You really want to go against the Demon Lord's Baylor? Frog! You're better now! I finally warmed back up. I nearly went into hibernation until the end of the world. Well, since I saved you, our kissing deal is off. But that's different! I never asked you to save me. You saved me on your own. You promised me a kiss. What? I shouldn't have saved you. Well then, as a reward, I'll tell you about Beldor. Beldor is one of three sorcerers known as the Three Wise Men. The three of them must be together right now, having a grand time. I know of the place they use as headquarters. Where is it? Titania's sewer system. How do you know this, Frog? One of the three sorcerers, Urza, turned me into this frog. Let us pardon Beldor's treason and ask him to help us. Send messengers to Titania! Ah, uh, that's probably not a good idea.
want to know about the three wise men, hmm? I used to listen to them once in a while. The demon Lord Odin. Years ago, he hid his status and worked for them as a servant. I let him help me out once in a while, too. But he deceived the wise men and stole the secrets of the jewels. The wise men were absolutely furious, but I was stunned. I mean, this was the boy who had been sweeping my floors. There aren't too many people who go to the netherworld before they die. For one thing, it's almost impossible to breathe that dismal and depressing air. <laughs> you think you know everything. Near the netherworld, a system of caverns turns into a labyrinth that makes it impossible to navigate. It is said that even if someone makes a map, the queen erases it with a thought. It seems that the demon lord knows of a path from this world into the netherworld. And that is why the queen of the dead holds him in such contempt. Hey, aren't you the queen? I've heard about you. My cousin's been spending time in your country. Queen Mercedes, I'm nervous. This is my first time visiting a human town. We don't see fairies often. If you're just visiting, buy a souvenir. May I have some of your time? Since you've come all this way, why not purchase a souvenir? I have rare goods you won't find anywhere else. This way, Your Majesty. How odd. I wrote to the King of Titania about our impending visit. Why are we being led through these side streets and not directly to the palace? Urza, one of the three wise men, is the King's close aide. This insult may be his. We are surely being tricked. Why would Beldor want to deceive me when I'm offering to pardon him? He feels no guilt, nor does he want your blessing. I think we should go back before we end up regretting our actions. I think he will understand if we speak to him. He was very loyal when he served my mother. But will he be honest? You doubt him too? You need to understand that not everybody is bent on serving or protecting you. You're mouthy for a frog. Why did you bother coming along, huh? Your Majesty! Because I'm worried. the queen, are you? What are you doing here? You came to shop? Seriously? Your Majesty! Let's make a deal, Beldor. As my messengers informed you, I will pardon your crimes on some conditions. Release Matthew, and show me your route to the Netherworld. Queen Mercedes, your courage, ambitious nature, and your purity are virtues. But you are a poor leader. You are reckless, inattentive, and prone to being deceived. So you won't help me? Tis not a bad idea to have the Demon Lord and the Fairies wipe each other out. But I have another mission I must attend to. But until then, let me provide a little more chaos and confusion to Ringford. Let's hear your true name. Hold it. Move, and the dwarf dies. Come, Belial. Swallow this little fairy. What's wrong? Don't you understand? You cannot resist me! How can 
can you force someone to serve you? Tis an honor for a dragon to be enslaved to a wise man. I will continue to keep your heart bound with magic. <laughs> you fool! Now, go! Fool, how dare you defy me! I retract my offer. I no longer plan to pardon you. This is a better end. <laughs> Useless oaf! Belial! Do not worry about me. I cared for humans, and this is my fate. Worry not, fairy. I won't let him get away! Baldor! So, Skaldi hasn't returned from the Inferno King's home. And Urza seems busy dealing with the King of Titania. I'm lucky you're split up. How dare you, frog! Aha! Ursa ordered you here, correct? The enemy will soon be here! Here she comes! The evil fairy who cursed this kingdom! Stop right there! I can't let you do that. How's that, sorcerer? You'll never be able to use that magic now. Tis the Puka's curse. You will never be human. What? Your... Valentine? I... I think I overdid it. But even as a frog, I managed to cast that. Frog. That skinny rabbit there is Belda's final form. And with this, I am done. Now go, before he wakes up. Look at you. The sorcerer is defeated. Good work, Queen. Be careful, I could still poison you. Wait. Queen Mercedes. Thank you. Y you're I'm the Prince of Valentine. Although I am finally able to show you my true form. I must bid you farewell. What? But wait! I... I... I can't succeed without you! You're here for revenge? What? Well, of course. You have duties as a queen. I have my own duties as well. <sighs> I want to protect you, but I cannot grant that wish. You're still indecisive, but you will be a good queen. That reminds me, you should go on alone. Wait! I don't even know your name! I am Ingwe. We shall meet again. Ingwe. I'm sorry about that. 
I can't let myself be captured this time. Oh no, is something wrong? Grandpa, I cannot take you to the netherworld. Will you be angry with me if I leave you here? A puka's curse, eh? I'll never return to my human form. What in heavens has he done to me? Beldor, you shall lead me to the netherworld. Fine, I don't care. Have no fear. I shall make sure that he does not escape. Did you go to Titania? My cousin told me you did. Your Majesty, I shall gladly fight to the death with honor and pride for my country. But my paladin troops have succumbed to the Demon Lord Cypher. If I attack without a sound battle plan, it will be difficult. Ingwei? I'm so stupid. He's already a human. Ingwei. In of the dead, this is the Netherworld. If this is all you want, let me go now. Now do you understand how that dragon felt? I'll have you accompany me until we find Brom. Melvin ordered me to bring him here. That is all. I know not where he is. Why not ask that spirit over there? What? Would it respond to me? Um, can I ask a question? Do you know of Brom, the blacksmith who was brought here? Nothing. In Ugh. palace, the dwarf who designs jeweled weapons, the queen is keeping him there. Uh, thank you. It seems Brahm is safe. Beldor? Well, I'm not frightened. I can do this alone. How can I be in this shape? And strut around where the holly are lurking? If they ever find me... Oh. It seems that there have been many fools wandering the abyss of death lately. These cursed souls also enter the Queen's realm without fear. Defeating Melvin's rebellion? Brom, I came here to rescue you. What in blazes? The Queen came for me? I cannot thank you enough. I need your help. Now come, follow me. The insects are restless. You shall not escape, Brom. You will continue to serve me by crafting your wonderful jewelry. That is what your life is for. I am Mercedes, Queen of the Fairies. Queen Odette, I wish to speak with you. Who your people choose to rule is no concern of mine. This is where human souls are destined to rest. This place means nothing for you fairies who live like the mist. You thieves who steal my belongings. 
All I need is to crush the bugs who have crawled in here. I guess talking to you is out of the question. You want me to create another cipher? Are you asking me to forge another Belder Reaver? I'm sorry, even if it is the Queen's command, I cannot perform this task. No, Brom. You can do this without selling a soul to the Halya. It is impossible. I cannot create a cipher as enormous as the Baylor. It doesn't need to be large. As long as it can compete with the Demon Lord's Baylor. Hmm. I cannot create a cipher as powerful and destructive as the Baylor, but a cipher that is able to break the Baylor itself. Hmm, a different design. Interesting. Let's try it. I'm so relieved to hear that you are safe, Queen Mercedes. If anything were to happen to you, I could never make it up to your mother. Keep it compact, but try to enhance its unique characteristics. If I narrow the focus... No! Oh, Queen Mercedes! I didn't even notice you. I'm sorry. I am pleased to see you safe, Your Majesty. It's hard to believe that you went to the Netherworld. But you brought Braum back. I hear you went to the Netherworld. Very impressive, young queen. Queen, I am overjoyed. Braum is alive. His skills as a blacksmith and as a dwarf will surely serve you well. The Demon Lord's troops are behaving strangely. No, not yet. If we act too soon, we may fall into a trap. Brom. I know that we are short on time. But there is a problem. While I was away, the forge's flames went out. The Fozon crystals used to create ciphers become stronger when they are pure. In order to strengthen the crystals, it will be necessary to repurify them. But even if we stomped on the bellows until our legs broke, we would still not be able to do anything with the meager flames we have here. Then what should we do? The flames must come from the source. I speak of the fire that existed before the world's creation. The purest and strongest flames gave birth to the creatures of flame. Those flames are... Yes, indeed, in the Fire Kingdom. I know very well where the Fire Kingdom is and where the flames are within it. I shall have to leave my post as blacksmith temporarily. Forgive me. Wait, it's too dangerous to go by yourself. But we cannot take a large group of people to steal the flames.
There it is, the source of fire. This should do. There's no one around. Isn't this the Inferno King's palace? He is tending his wounds. The Inferno King and his assistants slumber in the molten lava as we speak. The Belder Reaver has wounded him deeply. Oswald still lives? What a coincidence. Tis Brom. Who are you? I am not surprised that you fail to recognize me. I am the king who commissioned your first cipher. What? That torch, is that the source of fire? Once again, you tamper with the jewels without my permission. Hmm. My skull may be filled with maggots, but I can still remember. You. You told the dwarves the secrets of how to process the jewels. Queen, please follow me and run! I know not why he is here, but that was the ghost of King Valentine, ruler of the land I once called home. He has clearly lost his mind. How can you be so rude to your former master? I deeply regret having kept you alive. Clear the way, King Valentine. <laughs> that rock created from my furnace does not frighten me at all. Brom, is this jeweled artifact one of yours? Very well. Allow me to present my final creation to you. A baby dragon. A dragon with a crown. You should know very well the powers in this crown. This hatchling has my power and consumed the fire source. What? Now, my little spawn, devour these mortals before Onyx's forces arrive. Upon returning from the Fire Kingdom, Brom locked himself away in the Royal Armory. How may I serve? Gather some willing troops. There is little time to launch a counterattack. Matthew, allow the Lilliputs into the forge and let them work on weapons and armor. Tell them to do their best and match the skills of the Demon Lord's dwarves. Understood. I am going to speak to the Paladins and inform their leader of what to expect. Your Majesty. There you are, Brom. Is it complete? Tis my life's masterpiece. And with this, I shut the curtains on my career as a blacksmith. Brom. I have a request. May I have some time off? It pains me to not be able to see my work in action. But I have learned that Oswald, the wielder of the Belder Reaver, is still alive. It is my fault that his life is in shambles. He may not wish to see me, but I want to go to him. I see. Do what you must. Don't worry about the weapon. I shall make news of my victory ring loud and clear across the land. These rickety bones make it difficult to compete against others in battle. 
Now, please take this. This lethal bow. I have stripped it of its former name, the Tasla, and renamed it Rebla. It means the piercing one in the old dwarf tongue. Tis the only cipher in all the world with the power to destroy another. The patrol has reported in. It seems that the Demon Lord has activated the cauldron. They report that the forest near the area of destruction is deteriorating. If this continues, it will absorb all our Fozons. The time to make a decision has come. Allow me to report. The Lords have prepared our weapons and armor. And the troops are ready to depart. We await your command, Your Majesty. Let's show the Demon Lord's eye a thing or two. The atmosphere around here has certainly gotten more spirited. Is there a war? Thank you for allowing me to serve as a blacksmith. Tis an honor. Your Majesty, it has been a long time since I last worked in a forge. But my skills have not dwindled. I will put all my spirit into my work. I swear by my horn. I will fend off any attacks from the Demon Lord's troops. I have high hopes for your actions. Allow me to report. The Aesir have noticed our recent activities and have begun gathering together. Good work. Please continue to inform me of your future findings. Your Majesty, the troops have assembled. Her Majesty wishes to address us before we leave. Lend her your ears. Uh, I know you have all been worried after the death of the previous queen. Thank you for following and believing in me. We fairies subsist on Phozons and take our names from the heavens. Our work keeps the land full of life, and we cannot survive without the land's blessing. The Demon Lord opposes life. He taints the Phozon with blood and uses force to violate our land. We feel the fury of the land, and we in turn quake with anger. But we need not fear. This is my mother's bow. Infused with a new power, it shall shatter the Demon Lord's wicked eye. Those that have died here, the prayers of my mother and those who have returned their names will protect us. We will retake the cauldron and we'll show the Demon Lord that he has underestimated our resolve. May the land bless us in the name of the family. Queen Mercedes, you have become quite the noblewoman. It's as if the late queen herself stood before us. I am not my mother. I'm trembling. My fear overruns my hatred. When I think that the evil man who murdered my mother is nearby, I... My heart beats so fast within my chest. But it has begun. My battle is raging. Ingwe. I hope I succeed. are fleeing and their command is in disarray majesty we have received reports that the demon lord has entered the battlefield your majesty do not worry about me i will still fight for you your majesty i know you do not wish to hear this 
But the fact is that the enemy troops are superior. Are you suggesting we retreat, you coward? A coward's eyes always see more of an enemy than there are present. Now, continue. Fight like a true Regnanable soldier to the end. Give your life to our nation's struggle. Oh. Well, well. So you are the Queen's daughter. Our key to victory has fallen into our laps. Prepare yourself for our Queen's wrath! If you wish to challenge me, you should have brought at least four or five soldiers. <gasps> Are you not going to attack? You're quivering. Such a disgrace. That a child like you should attempt to strike me. Your youth cannot save you. You will follow Alfaria into death's embrace. <sighs> Do not tarnish my mother's name with your filthy mouth. You... You're... Now you cry. I cannot look down. As my mother said, I must keep my head up and look ahead. My dearest bow, my Reblum, lend me power. Struggling against a girl, my troops have weakened. But this battle will change everything. My Baylor, how could the most powerful cipher of all be destroyed by such a tiny bow? It worked, Your Majesty! Finish him, Queen Mercedes! His once terrifying visage is now the face of an old man awaiting execution. T'would be a simple thing to avenge my mother with a single blast. But... Die and you'll be a martyr. I will not have you find glory in death. Your successor will only try to gain the cauldron once again. So you must decide. If you choose to never show your face to me, nor set foot in our land, and choose to remain forever in your northern lands, I shall spare your life. If you choose to die, we will invade your homeland. Your people will lose even more after you are gone. So swear to me, Odin. Swear to be gone! I swear it. Do not try to deceive me. I have shamed myself. If I were to break my word, my people's pride and honor would disappear. Valkyrie, bear witness. Inform Odin's troops. Now, go. Former demon lord. Leave the ring that controls the cauldron. Take your troops and leave this place. Always remember your oath for as long as you live. Tell me your name, Queen of Ringford. I am Mercedes, daughter of Elfaria. As long as I am alive, I shall always keep my weapon pointed at you. Our treasure has returned, and our long suffering has come to an end. I promise peace will return. Secure the cauldron. Send out a prayer to those who gave their lives for our glorious victory. Such a splendid leader. 
holding Odin's life within the palm of your hand. We are all proud of you. That negotiation was a brilliant political move. Did you see the looks on the soldiers' faces? None shall dare to view you with contempt or disdain. Stand proud and triumphant, Mercedes. You are indeed a true queen. <laughs>